Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is John and in this video I just want to do something a little bit different and something I thought of called what's in my guitar case. And obviously I'm sure you can guess what that's about. So let's get started. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because it seems like many people don't really know what to keep in their guitar case. And the stuff you keep in your guitar case as a classical guitarist is much different than what you keep in your guitar case as an electric guitarist. So to start us off, let me show you what my guitar case looks like. All right, so let's go down to where my guitar case is. And as you see, I have a Vices Nut guitar case. More about that in another video, possibly. And let's take a look. Obviously, the guitar is an important one, but what's more important than the guitar is what I keep in here. So the first thing that I have in my guitar case would be these things. And you may or may not know what they are, but what they are is they are Diodera humidifier packs. Especially during these winter months where things are very cold and the air is very dry, having these in your case is pretty much essential. And if you don't, you really need to go ahead and buy some of these or a humidifier of some kind to keep in there to make sure that your guitar doesn't dry out and crack during these colder months. The next item that really goes hand in hand with this would be one of these. So I'm not sure if you can tell what it is. I'm gonna to try to bring it to the camera, but it's probably not gonna focus it. As you can see, it's not. But what this would be is this would be a hydrometer. Now a hydrometer is in the guitar case because it tells you what the actual humidity is inside of the case. And most of the time you want to make sure that your guitar stays somewhere between 40 to 50% humidity. And this thing tells you exactly where you're at. So you definitely wanna have one of these in there to go along with your nice humidifier in your guitar case. Next up, what I have would be just some pencils, right? Now, pencils may seem not that important, especially because everything is digital, but tons of times I've been teaching a lesson or I've been in a lesson and I've had to just write something down really quickly on my music. This is before I had an iPad, obviously, but most students tend to not have iPads. But these are great because you never know when you might need them and when you might not have them. So I always keep two in my guitar case, just in case. The next thing I found is two sheets of shelf liner. Now, if you're not a classical guitarist, you might not know what this is for, but let me tell you. So on most pants, especially dress pants where they're very silky, the guitar is really slipping on and off your pants all the time. And it's very unnerving, especially in a performance where you really don't want the guitar to just slip out and fall mid playing. And all you need to do to use these is take one of them, put them on your left leg, take the other one and put it on your right leg, and then put the guitar down and it should stay in place. Next up would be one of these arm sleeves. And you know, I haven't actually used one in quite a while because my guitar does have an armrest, which is kind of why I personally need it. But you know, some people like having them because it just makes it a little bit easier when moving your arm across the guitar, even when it has an armrest on it. This one I believe is by Oasis and it has this little extra padding over here where the arm really rests and it makes it that much more comfortable. So this stays my case and I've had this for quite a while and it works fine. So definitely recommend to have one of these in your case because you never know. All right, so this next thing is also a kind of, you don't really need it that much, but it's good to have just in case and it takes up so little space and that would just be a classical guitar capo. These aren't used that much in classical guitar music and when they are used, you probably know you're going to use them because you're playing a piece that does require it to be capoed. But just like playing popular guitar music, it's always important to have one, I think. Because like I said, you never know. You might want one of these, you might want to try something out. So having one of these laying around, and like I said, it takes up so little room just have one in your case because, again, you never know. Okay, so for the next one, you might think it's kind of funny if you're not a classical guitarist, but if you are a classical guitarist, you definitely need to have one of these, and that would be a fake nail kit. So I have mine in this little storage container that I found, and I put my fake nails in here, and I label them with which fingers are which, but you can go ahead and go on over to your CVS and buy a fake nail kit and just have the fake nails lying around your case, and also some way to get them on. I like to use glue dots. Unfortunately, I don't have any glue dots to show you in this video, but I can link them down below. I'll put a picture up here. So Somewhere of what I'm talking about. But these are super important because as you know, as a guitarist, you never know when you might break a nail. So you wanna have these laying around ready to go just in case. Okay, so speaking of nails, I have one that I definitely couldn't leave out and that would be a nail filing kit. What I have in here is just gonna be some basic four-way nail files, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Your basic everyday nail clipper for when the fingernails on your left hand might just be a bit too long, you don't wanna file them. And then of course, what every guitar player is always asking for is sandpaper just to smooth out your nails to get that final nice polishing coat of extra smoothness on them for when you go to play. All right, so now I have a 
cleaning cloth. Not the most important thing, but again, just like some of the other things on this list, it takes up so little space and I just stuff it down with a headstock and whenever I notice my guitar is feeling a little bit dirty, especially on the neck when I'm playing, I take one of these, rub it across the neck a little bit and everything feels smooth and almost like new. So it takes up such little room, just I say to have one in your case and that's why I have one in my case. So this cloth here I actually use as a guitar mute. So what you do is you take the cloth, take it down by the bridge of the guitar, push it through, push it through, pull it down, let it rest, and now it should be functioning as a mute. So that way you get some tone on the guitar, but you're not gonna go ahead and wake up people that are sleeping late at night or your neighbors if you live in an apartment. So very handy to have, especially if you're in a place where you need to be more quiet at night times or maybe even early mornings. All right, so this is one of the last things I have, and it's really important, I think all guitar players would agree, which would be to have an extra set of strings. Now, the strings that I'm using, I took the packaging off of them so that way they can fit better. My strings I just let rest down by the headstock, which you might have seen that video portion earlier, but like I said, you definitely wanna have these in your guitar case because you never know when you need an extra string. Now, on the note of guitar strings, you definitely also wanna have a string winder or a string changer, clipper, whatever you wanna call it. This one I find is great because I can wind the strings and I can also clip them. And believe it or not, it's come in handy multiple times, especially when I didn't know I had to change strings and having this just makes it that much quicker. So I keep one of these laying in my guitar case pretty much all the time. This one kind of just lives in this case. And finally, the last thing, which I usually keep on the guitar itself, but I took it off just for the sake of this video, and that would be a clip-on tuner. All right, so let's look at all the stuff I have, just a quick review. We have nail files, clipper, and sandpaper, a mute, cleaning cloth, hydrometer, humidifier pack, capo, clip-on tuner, armrest, nail kit, pencil, extra strings, and some shelf liner. Believe it or not, all of this actually fits super comfortably in my case without feeling like anything is crammed or hard to find. And to show you what I mean, this is what it looks like when I'm packing everything back in there. And like I said, this all fits in my guitar case pretty comfortably with no room for things to bump around or potentially hit each other. Anyway, let me know what you guys keep in your guitar case. Let me know if you guys keep the same things, less things, or even more things. And come back and check out another video. If you liked what you saw in this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the bell, like I said before, leave some comments. And that's all. I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.